Hey, what's up everybody? And welcome back to the channel Dan vs Food. In this episode, I'm gonna take you on a little walk around Parks and Shopping Mall. I think it's the biggest shopping center mall in all of Laos. I've been in just the main floor a couple of times, but there's a newly opened kind of sh uh, supermarket um, underground, I've heard. So I want to go and check that out. We also have like Vientiane Center over there. I think a bunch of the floors are closed in there. Like there's nothing really open. Not many stores or shops as you will see in here as well. But mainly I'm just coming in here for the shopping mall. I'll just uh, sanitize my hands. Sanitize my hands. And of course, have to wear a mask. Have ID. All right, temperature check. What's my temperature? Has it done it? Oh, 36.3. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty normal. Safe temperature. What do we have here? Joma Cafe. Yeah, this is quite a popular brand in Southeast Asia. They're in Vietnam and Thailand as well. I'm not sure about Cambodia. And Loteria, if you want like fast food burgers which I've had once before. I'm not a fan of actually, I'm really not a fan of it. And there's a load of like electronical stores, but check it out, check this out. They have four more floors, but there are no units open. They built this just before COVID hit and China and Laos has been building a high-speed rail link from Kunming to here. So before COVID, they were hoping for, you know, a huge boom in Chinese tourism here in Vientiane. But because of COVID, it literally, of course, it hasn't happened. Uh, so nobody's renting out these units. It's still totally empty. It's literally just this first floor at the moment. But where I want to go is downstairs because this is where the supermarket is. And of course, yeah, they've got a bunch of like brand, I think they're kind of like Chinese brands that of cloves and stuff, um, but you, you would have never heard of them basically. <laughs> All right, oh, they've got one of these mini soles here as well. This uh, Japanese little market with lots of little gadgets and things you can pretty much get most things in there it's quite a nice little shop actually well there's music so i don't want that a uh, huawei shop oppo what's over here a little food court and if you're not already subscribed to this channel hit the subscribe button please that would really really help me out if you enjoy these kinds of vlogs food vlogs, walk arounds, anything. That would be awesome. Thanks guys. Here is a place called Jin Taiwan Bubble Tea. I have had bubble tea before. It's quite nice, but overly, overly sweet. And they have like jelly and stuff inside as well. Like glass jelly, papaya salad, ice cream. Shihon Cafe with some Japanese curry rice, tonkatsu curries, Hong Kong wonton noodles, and but wow, they've got a really good selection of foods down here. I'm not a fan of food courts. I don't think so, baby. But that actually looks bloody amazing. Check that out. Look at that meat skin and fat on there thank you yeah what was i saying i'm not a fan of food courts the food obviously is just like not as good as street food but if you're working in the mall then it's just really convenient and quick especially like in bangkok they are famous for food courts the shopping malls are just gigantic so it would take you about 15 minutes to to get out of some of them um, and go and find some street food so most of the time I think it's just the employees that are working in them that they're eating these restaurants and stuff 
to some quick food. Well, where's the supermarket then? Okay, all right, I think I can see the supermarket sign down here. What is going on here? Some exercise equipment. And it looks like you can maybe win a car somehow, maybe? VIP car, Mazda. Okay, so we're at the supermarket now. And there's, all oh right, there's some more escalators there. Right, let's check this out. And you know, these markets are for, I guess, just people, locals who, who don't want to go to the wet markets. A uh, bit more cleanliness, a bit more hygiene. You know, you've seen in my previous videos, <laughs> some of those markets can be pretty filthy. But again, I pretty much prefer them. There's some coconuts, but you know, this is in plastic, you know, it's, yeah, coconuts just in plastic. Um, but in the local markets, they, yeah, no plastic the usage at all. Some nice fruits there. Mm. Raya fruit, never heard of that brand before. Some, yeah, different kinds of apples. Actually, they have a load of apples here. Different brands, Washington apple. That's about $4 a kilogram. And these, just apple, that one says. Uh, probably a lot of them from China. Oh, there's some from New Zealand there. And quite big ones, Shanxi apples. Okay, that sounds Chinese. Got melons, vegetables. Carrots. I'm not sure about the price. There's no price there for those. Oh, they're small. 20,000 kip. Oh, it's just some dried chilies. 13,000. So you can get, I think, a kilogram of these dried chilies in the local market for about 30,000. So for 162 grams, 13,000. So yeah, you can work the price difference out for yourself there are some imported latte products here Japanese mochi confectionery I'm not sure if you know about mochi um, yeah it's a Japanese dessert really sticky and glutinous uh, usually made with like uh, flour flavorings like uh, the, the famous Japanese flower. Oh no, I can't remember the name of it now. Damn it. <laughs> well, that always happens. <laughs> it will come to me soon. Um, what else do we have? Okay, ice cream. Some frozen Japanese seafoods in here. But it says it's from Thailand. They look like oysters or no. Oh, scallops, they're scallops for 920,000 kip for a kilogram of scallops. Whoa, that's quite a lot. That is a lot. That's almost a hundred dollars, actually. <laughs> oh, sorry, I need to put my mask up a bit. Look, hello, hi. And there's a lot of, yeah, a lot of imported products here, actually. Sunny Day, that sounds like an American brand of buffalo wings just puff pastry i've never seen puff pastry here in any market in laos and lots of uh, onion rings and chicken nuggets frozen vegetables frozen fruits blueberries and raspberries some eggs okay thirty-nine thousand kip for eggs so we'll just one pack of these in the local market will be about 28, well, between 25 and 28 actually. So a bit of a difference there. We've got fresh seafood. Here are some fish. Hello. Mekong river fish. And some little mini lobsters. Check them out, wow. <laughs> He's just got one claw and then one like tiny baby claw, if you can see there. I'm not sure if that's just the actual way the breed grows or whether and I, I don't know but yeah they're beautiful they are like little lobsters awesome uh, price 
450,000 kip. I'm guessing that's a kilogram. It's about $45 a kilo. And they've got some pre-packaged fish here. Just a fish head for $2. And some fillets as well. Whoa, that's a pretty big fish. I'd say that's about four or five kilograms at least. Uh, squids, different kinds of squids. Packaged up prawns, 130,000 kip. And that's only 436 grams. Uh, some crabs and oysters. Not sure what the name of these are. But yeah, just like little shellfish. 20,000, $2 for a pack. A beef and chicken as well, they do in here. How much is the beef? 64, okay, so six, six and a half dollars for a half a kilo. Okay, so they do just package everything up with plastic. Lots of pork belly and ribs also. What's over here? Okay, just frozen, frozen meats. Looks like beef. Um, let's have a look. Oh no, it says from Thailand there as well. A lot of lot of uh, products from Thailand in here, actually. Let's uh, have a look. Frozen salmon. Oh, I miss salmon so much, um, but it's just so pricey here. It's unbelievable. So it's a real shame. I'm not like super rich. <laughs> I'm not really rich, so it's not like I can eat salmon two or three times a week which i usually would do if i was back in england and here are some fresh salmon fillets wow look at that it's beautiful but just check out the price yeah it's almost a hundred dollars per, per side fillet but it does look fantastic and uh, what do we have here? Some wasabis and soy sauces, of course, to go with this. Sliced up pre-prepared sashimi. It's five and a half dollars. Tuna sashimi, five dollars again. And some salmon rolls. Kind of, yeah, sushi, sort of. And some kimchi there as well. What else do we have? Looks like some uh, seeds and things here. Sunflower seeds. Oh, Four dollars for those. Wow. Dried mushrooms and fruits. This is a bit of a weird section. Mushrooms. Never seen dried mushrooms like this within, you know, with these dried fruit kind of section. That's pretty weird. A few baked products. A little cakey cookie biscuit things and breads what's that I don't even know what that is does anybody know some kind of dried fruit and figs as well wow that's another food actually I've never seen in Laos here are some cooked fish I'm not sure the name of this fish though but 39,000 that seems expensive yeah Four dollars just for like one fish. I'm sure in the local market you can get it for like ten thousand, like one dollar. And uh, pork. But yeah, it's all cooked. Chicken drumsticks. Uh, what what is that? It's pork and onion, garlic, and like a little sauce. Two dollars. Mm, some Lao, just some random Lao dishes, and uh, and rice. 5,000 for one, one pack. Let's have a look this way. Honey, 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 honey. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, honey is not cheap anywhere, right? Um, but I'm not sure where this is from. Okay, Thailand, Thailand again. Almost $8 for that bottle of honey. Dairy products here, milks. Yeah, about the same price. Uh, 33,000. Yogurts as well, don't know. This brand of yogurt looks like it's actually a Lao style yogurt though. 
34,000. Whoa, it's not cheap, it's not cheap. But they do a big selection. Yeah, again, on imported milks. Some lactose three ones, some flavored ones, cocoa and strawberry. There's a load more of different vegetables and ginger and stuff, pumpkin, oranges over there, fruits, let's oh, that's a big pomegranate. Wow. Uh, what's the price of that pomegranate, I wonder? I'm not sure. Um, oh, what else? Tiny, tiny avocados from New Zealand, past avocados, and I bet they are not cheap. That's 38,000. Oh no, that's USA there. Mm. Avocado, okay, still 38,000 for one. For one packet. One avocado, that's about $4. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So expensive. Look, some sliced up watermelon for 8,000 kip, 80 cents. Doesn't look like it's that great though, it looks a bit white, a bit too white, which means it's not going to be sweet. Free tasting of coffee there, but I've had three coffees this morning already, so I'm going to skip on that, I'm going to get some food after, after this little walk around. Again, some Chinese and Japanese imported drinks. I had, I remember this in Japan actually, Bukhari Sweat, <laughs> I'm not sure why they named it that, it's uh, not the most appealing name. Let's drink some Bukhari Sweat, yeah. Uh, wow, there's a lot of different bottled juices, Chaba brand, Unif brand, Mali, lots of Mali. Hippo. And they're usually between 15 and 25,000 per, uh, per carton. Oh, we've got Hershey's. That's quite cheap actually. Hershey's chocolate syrup for 35,000. You need three and a half dollars. But yeah, look at this. Look at this peanut butter for eight dollars. For that like i'll eat that in like three days <laughs> i'd take up a lot of my budget if i was eating peanut butter like i did used to like i did when i was living in england oh, wow lots of jams here five dollars for jams all imported in england that's like two pound fifty or three pounds i think cereals some that i've never heard of donai cornflakes you know from a previous video walk around in a supermarket the cereal here is not cheap it's uh, between three and five dollars uh, per box and it's not even a big box either it's a pretty small box some soft drinks uh, coca-cola and stuff some Thai o oichi uh, sorry, Japanese, I think that is, isn't it? Oishi. Green teas. Lots of different waters, fizzy waters. Thank you. So a guy just moved out of the way for me. More bottles of Bukhari Sweat. Bukhari Sweat's everywhere, just in different size bottles. Oh, they even have like, wow. It's like water selection glass bottled water which I haven't seen anywhere in Laos San Benedetto product of Italy carbonated one bottle is uh, two dollars Fiji three dollars wow I haven't even heard of some of these brands Aquapana three dollars whoa wow ah. Yeah, so Laos, you can really start to get some international brands here now. But I can imagine like three, four, five years ago, probably not, because this is one of the most modern supermarkets in Laos, uh, as you can see. 
what's over here sugars and salts and things oils extra virgin coconut oil by centrifugal extraction there it's almost ten dollars uh, whoa chocolates Japanese chocolates biscuity things a Smarties giant block oh it's just one pound on there but the price here is not one pound that is about two pound thirty almost three dollars yeah all chocolate Ferrero Rocher this box of Ferrero Rocher is twenty dollars so I mean it's about four times the price of of the UK I'm not sure about the prices in America but twenty dollars for just a few Ferrero Rochers that's a lot you're gonna you're gonna have to really really crave them if you're gonna buy them which I'm not so. but you can get some like cheap Asian like sweets and candies and stuff but generally they don't they don't eat them here you know it's like a different kind of culture they eat insects and <laughs> <laughs> like to just snack on sticky rice and pork skin or buffalo skin or something like that. They'd much prefer Okay, you're right. They do have like Capri's here And and again, this would be a pound in England, but here Yeah, Capri whole nut 32,000 kip It's more than three dollars so about two pound forty just for that small bar of chocolate But it's good that they actually have it here, you know lint lint four dollars twenty for these it sounds nice like cranberry almond and hazelnut and snickers as well one dollar for uh, one snickers and kit kats m m's yeah okay that's really good actually that they they do have that here if uh if i am craving some chocolate someday some some really like you know just cabries just something that reminds me of home reminds me of england then i can come here and, and grab some chocolate okay 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 everyone so there's like a baby section here um and lots of like toiletries and things but i think i've kind of covered most of the market um there's like yeah yeah so so yeah i just wanted to show you around and but for me as well i've never been here before so i wanted to just check this place out because it's this supermarket as you saw it's underground and it is very newly opened actually i think it's only been open a few months from what i've heard okay okay let's just check one more thing alcohol they've got carlsberg beer allow how much is carlsberg here Six, uh, seven dollars for six cans that's like five pound um maybe that is about the same price as england actually i i can't remember but it's not right it's like the worst beer in the world carlsberg um i wouldn't buy it i much prefer the beer allow but four dollars in here in this market for six small cans but most of the time everyone just drinks from the like 600 milliliter glass bottles that's like the cheapest way for that people usually drink beer allow here so i've just had a little walk around trying to find some more alcohol but it is, literally is just some beer allow some carlsberg and some summersby cider so no real alcohol section actually so if you're looking to buy some alcohol this wouldn't be the place uh, to be honest with you there's barely anything here three different brands that i've that i've seen all right so i think i'm gonna end the vlog here now i really hope you enjoyed this little walk around the supermarket i mean i now know that i can get some foreign products here um but it comes at a price <laughs> if i really wanted to have chocolate or whatever so thanks so much for watching if you're not already subscribed hit that subscribe button give us some likes and some comments as well and also if you subscribe don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get notified of any future videos of mine thank you so much everyone have an amazing week and i'll be seeing you soon all right goodbye